Hey, this is the Chris and Chris channel again. Uh, well, following up from our last video, um, this video is yet an another pistol re review. Um, after this one, we've only got about one more. And then we're going to be going into, you know, shotguns for either hunting or home, home defense. And eventually getting into rifles. Um, getting into different magazines. Um, maybe some fishing stuff um, as we get, clo get closer to springtime. Um, but the pistol we're going to do today is the Sky... CPX2 Okay uh, It's a 9 millimeter. I mean a light nines um, light nines 38s 45 and That's really about it. I'm, I'm not not too crazy about 380s or, tw or 25 or 32 or any of those But this is a CPX2 um It is very user friendly, easy to use, compact. I have to say that about it. Um, I will say that the Sky CPX2 is um, very user friendly, I'd say. Um, and I'm just going to do some research here. And see what these things are going for right now. These Sky CPX2s. On GunBroker. So we'll get some real time pricing for you. See what these things are going for. Uh, one thing that people may like about these. Oh my god. Uh, it seems these things are going for. Um, over $250. Two sixty five, two sixty, two seventy. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, uh this once a hundred and eighty dollar gun is now going for close to three hundred dollars on gun broker and arms list, I might add. Um like I said, this is entire entirely insane. That these guns are going that expensive. I would say it's most probably the political climate that's causing this. Um, it is a very, very good gun. I will say that much. It's practical. It's concealable. Uh, it's got a hidden hammer. Um, something to add for that. Uh, Sky is made in Florida, Daytona Beach, Florida, so it's, at least it's made in a nice area of the country. Um, not really sure, um, I can consult good old Wikipedia to see if these are used by any militaries or, um, any civilian use, which I would probably say no on the military use. Um, it was, uh, Sky Industries was formed in, two, in 2003. Um, they actually got their name from Sky Vodka. Um, and no, it's not used by any current militaries or law enforcement agencies that I'm aware of. Uh, it's got a easy release on the magazine, which again, you know, it's California legal, it's ten, like 10 rounds, so... You know, it's a California legal pistol, which I'd probably use this as a backup weapon. I probably wouldn't use this as a, pri a, pri a primary way of uh, self-defense. Um, as far as woman's use, 
ask my wife here, you know, what she thinks of it. I mean, I'm not too sure on if a woman would find this comfortable or not, but let's see. Well, let me see. I mean, yeah, I mean, it fits my hand and it's like a really tiny gun. Um, it, it can easily pull the trigger. Let's see if I can, like, cock it back. That's the real test if I can, like, push it back. <laughs> and it's, it's difficult to get it to... When you pull it back, you want to try to hear that click. <laughs> so you want to be able to go... Well, well, I'm sure you're not really guns that much. <laughs> but yeah, when you pull it back, you want it to click. Like that. Oh, okay. And then, I mean, it's a pretty easy to rack around in. I kind of um, give it a five, though, because, I mean, it is, like, small enough for a woman's use. But um, when it comes to pulling back, I'd be... A dead person. <laughs> I mean, she feels pretty comfortable using a Taurus uh, 38, which I mean, she seems to be doing pretty good with. Um, it's a pretty nice little barrel. I mean, the barrel don't seem too bad. Uh, I can see where they've cut some barrels on it. But other than that, I mean, it's a light gun. I could say it was cheap. Uh, but with arms list and gun brokers selling these things for how much they're selling them for, uh, that's outrageous. Um, if, if gun prices go down again, you may be able to find, find these for under 200 bucks again. That's a big if. Um. With Democrats in the office, you know, liberals are not very fond of guns. They never have been, and quite literally, I don't, I don't think they ever will. Um, I think most of them are starting to lean more leftist. Um, actually, one I've got some respect for, a Democrat, uh, would be Tulsi Gabbard. If you ever heard of her, she was... Um, at one point, I believe she was a congresswoman or a senator. I have to check on that. But she's a Democrat and uh, definitely not as bad as the rest of them. Um, she was pr pretty lax on guns, on going after gun like gun control measures. So I, I definitely respect her on that. Um, What else about this gun? I mean, there's not really that much else. I mean, it's an El Cheapo gun. 